Guys, this is Arash here, presenting my EE1020 project. My project is about a, a wireless transmitter for sending calculated uh, position from accelerometer and gyroscope data. Uh, in my transmitter uh, unit, I'm using a motion processing uh, sensor, uh, which measures the accelerometer, uh, gyroscope, magnetometer, and also uh, temperature and pressure. Um, uh, communicating with the module using I squared C interface, uh, it's a two line interface, uh, which is then uh, received at my basis three port in order for the filtering. Uh, I'm using FIR filters. Uh, I tried to use adaptive filters uh, like Kalman and LMS, but they're just too expensive in hardware for my basis three port. So I was not able to uh, synthesize them. And uh, after uh, finding and calculating the XYZ positions, I'm uh, transmitting them in my long distance HC12 transmitter receiver using a UART interface. Uh, it's based on RS-232 protocol. And then I'm receiving them uh, at the receiver module, which is the same module, which is then connected to the Arduino Nano and connected to my laptop to receive the data in the serial port. Also, I should mention that I'm using a RTC a clock module for the uh, real time in case the power is off I need to keep track of the time and also uh, I'm measuring the input power to the whole unit since the unit is uh, powered from an external power bank I'm measuring the input power from there and it's measured in milliwatts uh, right now I'm measuring about 500 milliwatts and yep, that's it. Let's uh, have a look at the uh, uh, measurements on my uh, laptop. Uh, I'm measuring the accelerometer data of each axis. Um, right now, you see that uh, there is a this is x, this is y, and this is z axis. Right now, you're seeing that I'm measuring a acceleration in the z direction. Um, the reason for that, uh, even though the device is not moving, why should there be an acceleration? The reason for that is the accelerations are inertial measurements. That means they are with respect to an inertial frame of reference. And since Earth is not an inertial uh, frame, since it's accelerating, uh, it's because it's rotating, it has a centrifugal acceleration, which is actually the uh, same as the gravitational acceleration but the opposite direction. So we are measuring that uh, centrifugal acceleration in the upward direction. So that causes problems uh, because we are trying to uh, take the uh, uh, acceleration with respect to our frame of reference, not the inertial frame of reference. So uh, we need to take care of the fact that there is a DC value in the Z direction. Uh, we can uh, apply a oscillatory motion and see the response. Uh, right now we are measuring uh, an acceleration sinusoidal in the Y direction and again the same in the X direction. Uh, also I could move in the Z direction. So the acceleration data are uh, accurate and precise, but they are noisy. We need to uh, filter them in order to be able to in integrate them over twice to get the positions. Uh, let's uh, go and have a look at the uh, measured positions. Um, we are plotting them in MATLAB because uh, we are trying to plot them in the 3D axis. Uh, let's see. Uh, since there are only three axes, uh, I use X, Y and time. Uh, so right now this is measuring uh, only X, Y positions with respect to time. 
So we have like a spiral motion upward because the time is progressing uh, in the Z direction and we can see that we observe the oscillatory motion uh, progressed upward. We can also see the spiral motion. Uh, yep, uh, that's it. Uh, thank you guys for listening. See you.